All right, well, I got something very special in the mail. Finally, this is back from Zach's brand new unit. So I'm here with uh, this guy, right? Dustin Williams and Mickey in the car, and we are going to install this and hopefully take it for a spin. All right, so if you remember before um, when we had that problem at TJ's house, we basically had to cap off where I had the nitrous nozzle, and uh, this is uh, Calvin and, and my little idea to try to stop the fuel. Unfortunately, it didn't work, so I have it capped off right here with an actual AN cap. But we're gonna take this all apart. We're gonna put the nozzle back in here. Let's see. Right there, and uh, we'll be good to go. I gotta strip all of um, the wires that I had to cut before, um, and then I'm just gonna wire this in, and then we will plumb the fuel out, nitrous out, as well as the fuel and nitrous in, and then we need to run the calibration for the throttle positioning sensor. So, should be pretty easy, now that I've done this once before, so let's get it done. Just wanted to do a like, quick little walk around um, to show you the nitrous. You really can't see it, right? If you're like, kind of staying this far away, you would never really know. But when you kind of get closer, and you can see I just put blue tape um, to mark the nitrous line, but the nitrous nozzle is underneath the MAF, right there, um, you can see it. Um, you really can't see any of the wiring. Some of the hoses are kind of going through into the firewall area and the entire nitrous is underneath the cowl. Still need to put on the windshield wiper blades, but um, overall really clean setup. You would never really know it's there. It just looks like it has an intake. Dust and I just finished installing the new Zex uh, nitrous brain right underneath the cowl. Uh, just installed the tank and we're gonna go out for a test drive. We're gonna be running a 65 shot, not a 75, a 65. See how. sick it is fast it was chirping uh, the tires between second and third gear hopefully you caught that in the video all right well I think I just found my next car right here ready boom thing is so sick So guys, I'm thinking about painting my brake calipers yellow. Um, Want to know what you think, so please drop a line in the comments if you think I should paint the brake calipers on the M3 yellow to match that Aventador. It looks so sick, that color combination. What do you think? I'm hanging out here at Secret Car Club, got some coffee, I'm gonna go check out some of these cars. Just got back from Cars and Coffee. Although the weather wasn't that good, it was a pretty cool turnout. Definitely a couple cool, rare cars, the Murcielago, the Carrera GT. You don't see those things every day, uh, and especially the Aventador. Um, I gotta pack up some stickers. We did a little giveaway on our Instagram. If you're not following us on Instagram, you're missing out. Uh, we do a lot of giveaways, and so please, I'm gonna put the, the link right here. Give us a follow on Instagram. All right, well that's all the time I have for you guys today. Be sure to drop a like on this video if you wanna see me make that tutorial on how to paint brake calipers the right way. Subscribe to the channel, stay tuned, until next time.